So your first question, who's your all-time role model? Hey, my parents. Okay, parents. All right, second question, a cricketer who you believe overachieved or achieved beyond his true potential or natural potential? I don't know if you can do that, really. I think <clears throat> the potential is exponential. But I think, I think Zach Klein is somebody that when you, when you, you know, from circumstance to, to genius, I yeah. think is, 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 that's an incredible story. Definitely. Um, a cricketer who you believe kind of underachieved. I think that would be unfair for me to to, to call out somebody who, who hasn't achieved. The, the, there are many of us in our own way we haven't achieved some of the goals. That's that we true. Want to have achieved, but um, so next question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, you've coached so many players. Who was your most obedient learner? <laughs> um, oh wow. I think um, I think I think Dale and Mornay is a pair because we spent so much time working on working on our game. There's a whole host of other guys, but you know those guys were very clear. They were very clear in what they wanted to achieve, and they were and they just got on with it. They were absolutely brilliant. So those two were were, were really exceptional. Great. Um, what about the opposite? Your most rebellious learners. Uh, oh, crikey. I wouldn't say rebellious, but I think um, somebody like Sherv Akhtar, who, 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 you know, he was a great bowler. I mean, I, with somebody like Sherb, you're definitely not coaching him. You, may, you know, you're doing, you're managing, you're managing the process with the team. Is it was it was fascinating seeing somebody like being a witness to the to the incredible performance that Sherb could deliver. Mm -hmm. um, Sherb had his own way of working, you know, yeah. and. And I think when you've got players like that, and that was my experience with Pakistan, is that is don't tinker, don't try and fix stuff. You know, when you've got exceptional performers, seek, you know, the old saying, seek to understand first. Yeah. And so, so Shob was, so Shob was the force of nature. And even watching him now, I mean, I go on YouTube with my kids and I just say, watch this guy bowl. You know, this, I cannot imagine anybody ever bowling faster than Shob. It was just like, it was just incredible. Absolutely. What when he would bowl, everyone would just just watch. That's it, right? You just can't your you just can't take your eyes off the screen when he's bowling. What a remarkable player! Um, the best captain that you have seen. Wow, you're putting me on the spot. Here. <laughs> um, I've worked with so many great captains. Uh, I'm going to. I'm not going to go for for best captain. Um, I'm going to go for my most recent captain because I think every captain brings different attributes. Mm -hmm. uh, so I've, you know, I, I love all the captains I've worked with because I've learned from all of them. But I'm going to, I'm going to say Jason Holder for for the last stint, my coaching stint, his mm -hmm. leadership of of the West Indies and in beating England, which I think is only the second time in 20 years that they've beaten England. Yeah. Um, and, and not only was he the match winner, so he led from the front in terms of performance, uh, he just, his captaincy was fantastic and it was, and it was just brilliant working with him. He's a lovely guy and, and his captaincy was exceptional. And, uh, coincidentally, they're playing today, both the Windies <laughs> and the, and the English players, they're playing today, today, uh, yesterday cricket started again. So it's great to yeah. see cricket back in action. Um, last one, a player that you wish you had coached. Oh man, man! I've been really spoiled. I mean, <laughs> I've been so spoiled. I mean, I would have been blessed to have worked with some of the greatest players ever. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think. I don't think when you're working with genius players, there's much coaching going on. Quite honestly, mm. um, I would have. I would have loved. This is. I'm. I'm digressing a little bit, but just bear with me. Is I would have loved to have been to have been able to watch Don Bradman bat. Right. Because for, for, for you know, to there is nobody who's remotely got close to Don Bradman, and that is in any era. So yeah. that guy really, so really is the genius of the genius of all cricket. Genius when of geniuses. Speak about great players of eras. 
you know, when you think that he was a good 30 runs plus above anybody else. So, so I would have loved, I mean, I, I can't say coach Don Bradman because, because he was a genius, but um, I would have loved to have watched him. 